Hey guys, it's Greg of Vanguard Motor Sales. Look what I got behind me here. A K10, 1987, 502 under the hood, and she is looking sweet. Look at that grill. It's got the suburban style grill in it, looking sweet. We got chrome bumper looking sweet, and look at that three quarter ton axle under the front end of this baby. Man, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Don't worry, we're gonna put it up in the air so you can check out the whole suspension. Now, one thing I wanted to show you real quick here is I looked up the size of a standard uh, K10, and they said it was about 70 inches. Well, that's just about how tall I am, so you can see much how much higher this one is. She is absolutely gorgeous, man. The paint on it is uh, said to be a Ferrari uh, F40 uh, red. Looking sweet. You can see those King shocks in there. Got the Nerf bars on there. We got some big old Swamper tires on there. Got great looking weld wheels. The whole suspension's just looking sweet. I mean, take this to any car show or truck show and you're gonna have a blast with this baby. Or take it out to the mud hole. Yeah, take it out the old sippy hole, see what you can do. We got brand new chrome here. You can see all the trim on the tailgates looking good. Looks like that bumper's brand new. And look inside here, look at them king shocks. Isn't that cool? We get the limiter strap there. They've even got the uh, bedliner style material, almost a perfect match to the color of the truck, which is super cool. You still got plenty of room in that bed for goodies if you want to haul something around. As you look down the passenger side, Beautiful paint job on it, straight as an arrow. And we're gonna go out and drive it right now. It's mud truck time. <laughs> Man, I tell you what, when I was a kid, I had a CJ7. I think I had some 31s on it. I thought it was cool, but man, 502 ramjet power under the front of this baby. And we're sitting up tall. This thing's got to have like a 12 or 14 inch lift with those mudders. I mean, this thing is literally, I don't know, it's got to be 18 inches taller than a normal truck. What a cool vehicle. And then that GM Performance Crate motor up front, that just puts the nail right in the coffin, baby. Take on any of your buddies with this one. Now we can deliver this truck anywhere in the world. You just give us a call at 248-974-9513. Tom will tell you just how easy it is to park this dream in your driveway. Now this truck drives like a truck. It does not drive like your wife's Escalade. So she drives like a 1987 truck with a great big old lift and some big old fat tires on her. As you can see down here on the dash, all custom gauges. Looks like some uh, carbon fiber looking uh, dash panel here. Everything looking good. Everything look like it works. We got a tilt column. We got a B&M shifter in here. Everything about this thing's cool. And it's got these cool uh, racing seats too. They've got uh, the four point harness on them. Even this center seat here has got a four point harness on it. Now we're here five days a week you want to come in and visit we'd love to have you you want to send an inspector no problem whatsoever we'd love to have your inspector and we're close to the airport if you need to fly in 
Now we're going to put this big old mud truck up on the lift so you can check out just how cool the bottom side is also. We're headed up here to our shop to 15100 Keel Street in Plymouth, Michigan. So give Tom a call and we'll get this dream parked in your driveway. We're going in the air right now. All right, we got this sucker up in the air now. Let's check it out, man. Look at that rear end housing, man. Look at all the reinforcing on there. Now they tell me that's a three quarter ton axle, 456 gears in here. We've got posi unit in there because when I spin this wheel, look at that wheel, what, look what it does. Yeah, it's a posi. We got brand new brake lines, of course, and look at these King shocks. They look like they're about three feet long. We got our limiter strap here. That's very important to have. Make sure those don't pull out. Um, we got all new brake lines, uh, flex lines here. You can see it's got disc brakes out back here. And then this stainless exhaust. Look at the welds. Man, it looks like my wife did that with her sewing machine. It is beautiful. They got a neck extra cross member here. The bumper's brand new. You can see the bottom side of the bed's nice and clean. The insides of the quarters are nice and clean. I mean, everything about this truck is just amazing. Now, normally I'd just walk through here, but of course, unless I do the limbo or something, I'm not gonna be able to get under that axle. So I think I'll go around. Look at these. Beautiful weld racing wheels here. And let's see, 38 by 15, five by 17s, looking sweet. Then these Nerf bars, these Nerf bars are welded right in there. Beautiful work on that. They've got some angle brackets on there. Gas tanks look like they're new. And uh, then look at these gigantic heim joints here. Man, we are triangulated in every direction back here. And then look what a great job they did on the exhaust. They got it tucked, curved, X wide. Man, they did a beautiful job. Uh, fresh rebuild on the transfer case. We got a 4L80 um, E-Trans here. That's a four speed automatic. We got jet coated headers here. Of course, got the same gear set up front as in the back. And again, this baby is triangulated, four linked and heim jointed in every direction. Again, we got the poly limiter straps here. Again, the king shocks up front. I mean, and then this is that 502 power. We'll see that here in a minute. I mean, everything about this thing's beautiful. We got new U joints up here. Just gorgeous. The front frame horns are nice and straight and all nicely painted. Front bumper looks like it's brand new. Those wheel wells are nice and new. Now, if this baby was mine, then wheel wells would be full of mud because we'd be out tearing it up with this thing. Up front here, of course, same size. We got worn lockout um, hubs here. Again, yeah, 38 by 15, five by 17s. I mean, she is a beauty, guys. Look at them king shocks going up in there. Man, let's lower this baby down and take a look under the hood. All right, when you got to look at the motor on your mud truck, this is how you do it right here. Climb up on that big old tire. All right, we're under the hood now. Wow. We got Ramjet 502, baby, GM Performance Crate. We got a late model AC compressor here. We got a gigantic aluminum radiator with two big old fans on it. You can see them King shocks coming up inside here, looking sweet. Uh, it's got Hydra Boost on it. That's for the power brakes. So she does have power steering. She does have power brakes. You can see the firewall. All the wiring is nice and neat. You can see all the aluminum on this motor looking sweet. I see aluminum heads down there too. You see that Chevy bow tie here. You can see all the bracketry and everything they did. You see how they've got all the pipes bent and then all that custom bracketry uh, welded in there. We got we got all kinds of angle braces and everything going on in there, looking sweet. Optima battery here. They did a beautiful job on the build on this thing. I'll tell you what, she is one beautiful setup. We got the computer sitting right over there too. The, um, see that? They did a nice job mounting everything under here. Guys, give us a call, 9513 and let Vanguard Motor Sales park this monster in your driveway.